I'm good, thanks. You? I'm very good. Are you? So I have here seven questions. Yeah. And so the first question is, we're going to go a little bit to your flashback. Yeah. Why did you actually choose Honda, and what is the difference between your old bike and uh, the one that's the same? Um, the decision to go with Honda was uh, not an easy decision. You know, they, they were struggling last year quite a lot with the results. And then uh, we've been speaking sort of throughout the year, uh, looking at, at 2018. And the decision come uh, just by I, I saw more potential with, with the Honda and for the future. I thought it could be a, a better package to be on the podium and try to win races and. Uh, they were making a lot of changes with the team set up and, uh, and the way the bike was working um, and I think it was a good decision. I first got on the bike and instantly felt comfortable. Um, the bike technically is, is still a, an inline four cylinder but obviously chassis is very different. Um, so the, the feeling from the bike is quite a lot different but still at the end of the day it's a motorbike you have to, to push as hard as you can and go as fast as you can. But, um, yeah, it's, it's it's been going okay this season, quite good. We had a, a good test in. Um, first race went pretty good. Thailand was even better. And then, uh, yeah, obviously Aragon didn't go so good. Um, but yeah, this is racing. Yeah. So you get along so well with Honda at the first um, time when you test. And yeah. what did the first thing you did when how that you feel so good in that bike? Um, we started with Nikki's settings basically and just made myself comfortable with the position of the everything, the bars, foot pegs and and then um, yeah we didn't change so much from their base setting um, but we kept improving, kept figuring things out with the suspension and the way we wanted the geometry and stuff like that but yeah the bike's not a lot different um, than when Nikki had it, a few little things but yeah. For me, the, the setting works good. I, I'm comfortable on the bike, and so far we, we keep improving all the time. Okay. Um, when you decided to race here um, uh, after you crashed in 2011 in Aragon, uh, what did you feel after you did FP1 and FP2, and finally you decided you weren't that good, uh, you weren't feeling that yeah. good, and what is that? Uh, how is your doing? Uh, how is your recovery right now so far? And I'm a bit curious about the doc. What did the doctor say about the recovery? Um, how long? I mean, it's quite complicated. Uh, the doctors away from the track said impossible to ride. Um, but they always say it's impossible to ride. You know, every time you have a little injury or anything, they say no, no. Um, and. I was feeling better and better every day, um, but I still thought it would be a big task to try and ride here. I wasn't that confident I could ride. Um, we got here, the doctors said I can try the first session. I tried the first session and it didn't go too bad to be honest. Uh, the lap time was like okay. Mm -hmm. And I didn't even uh, get to put in, I put in a new tyre at the end, but I made a mistake and, and crashed at the very end of the chicane. And I was in a lot of pain to ride. I couldn't ride properly, was the thing. And I wasn't safe to do so, you know. I was making little mistakes everywhere. I couldn't change direction properly. I couldn't brake properly. Um, just too, too much pain and couldn't, couldn't physically do it. It wasn't strong enough. So uh, We tried for the second session. I thought I would try a longer run if I could do maybe 10 laps. See how I felt, but I couldn't even do 10 laps. And uh, I just couldn't breathe properly. And yeah, it wasn't possible, so. The plan is to try and come back for, for Donington, um, but still it's only two weeks away. It's still gonna be tight for Donington. I hope you feel better. Enough. Yeah, thanks, me too, but <laughs> we'll see. Uh, as far as I know, Suzuka 8 Hour is an important event. Uh, do you have any plans to ride there if you recover? That's a good question. Uh, there's, uh, there's, there's talk about me riding the 8 Hour, um, but nothing's confirmed yet. There's there's interest, you know, from them, and I'm interested to do it for sure. Um, but yeah, no contracts have been signed, and no no agreements been met to, to do the race. But from what I understand, HRC are making a proper team again, um, and they want to win the race. So big pressure if I do. <laughs> okay, during your career, who inspired you the most? Um, rider-wise. Uh, anyone. Anyway. I think my dad got 
you know, give me the, the passion for bikes, you know, from when he used to race, and then when I was, yeah, less than three years old, maybe two or something, I, I wanted a motorbike, no, I was nearly three. And uh, my dad said, oh, when I can ride a bicycle without stabilizers, he'll buy me a, a bike. And so I took the stabilizers off and I rode the bike. <laughs> and then I got a motorbike. And from then, yeah, just a big passion from the family, I guess. And then uh, as I was growing up, like Troy Bayliss, Carl Fogarty, um, Mick Doohan, people like this is who I used to watch and they were my heroes. So yeah, I guess it's been from that era. Yeah, um, there's a lot of more politics than you can imagine. It's probably the thing I don't like. Um, a lot of commitments away from the actual racing side, and sometimes it dilutes what you're here for. You know, you, it's not all about, all about trying to be as fast as possible. There's some other things that take uh, like take take away your attention a little bit. But this is part of the job, and same for everyone. So um, the thing I love about it is everything pretty much you know it's everyone's there trying to beat each other and uh, trying to always get the best from yourself and it's uh, yeah that it's the whole thing of just trying to improve yourself I think I really enjoy about bike racing uh, you've got you a bike your your guys in the garage and you work together every they put in so much effort you put in so much effort and constantly trying to, to figure it out so yeah, like the teamwork is yeah the teamwork side of it's it's good fun really good fun so, especially when you have a good team that you like and connect with it's, it's, yeah. awesome. it's awesome good okay. feeling Thank you very much for your time. Cool, no worries, thank you. I really hope that you feel better and that you can ride in Donington and also at the Suzuki 8 hour. Yeah, I'll be trying, thank you. I can keep recovering and I think maybe it's possible Donington, so we'll try. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. No worries.